Semiconductors are the unsung heroes of the digital age. These tiny chips power everything from smartphones and laptops to advanced artificial intelligence systems and military hardware. Their importance in the global economy cannot be overstated. In recent years, semiconductors have also become the focal point of a geopolitical struggle between the United States and China, a struggle with far-reaching consequences for the future of technology and global trade. The United States, long a leader in semiconductor design and manufacturing, has grown increasingly wary of China's technological ambitions. China for its part has identified semiconductors as a key sector for achieving technological independence and national security. This clash of ambitions has led to a series of strategic moves by both sides, including sanctions, export controls, and massive investments in domestic chip production. The stakes are incredibly high. Control over semiconductor technology could determine not only economic dominance in the 21st century, but also military superiority and global technological standards. The outcome of this high-tech showdown will have profound implications for businesses, governments, and individuals worldwide. The battle lines in the semiconductor war were drawn when the United States began imposing restrictions on China's access to advanced chip technology. Citing national security concerns, the U.S. government argued that China's military was using advanced semiconductors to develop sophisticated weapon systems and cyber capabilities that could threaten U.S. interests. These concerns were not entirely unfounded. China has been rapidly modernizing its military, investing heavily in areas like artificial intelligence, hypersonic missiles and quantum computing, all of which rely heavily on advanced semiconductors. The U.S. government, determined to maintain its technological edge, responded by imposing export controls on companies like Huawei, a Chinese telecommunications giant that was making significant strides in 5G technology and other areas. These export controls were designed to cut off Huawei and other Chinese companies from the most advanced chips produced by U.S. companies and their allies. The impact was immediate and significant, disrupting supply chains and forcing Chinese companies to scramble for alternatives. China's response to U.S. sanctions was swift and decisive. The Chinese government, already committed to achieving technological self-sufficiency, doubled down on its efforts to build a domestic semiconductor industry capable of rivaling the West. At the heart of this effort was the Made in China 2025 initiative a comprehensive industrial policy aimed at transforming China into a global manufacturing superpower. Under this plan, billions of dollars in government subsidies were poured into research and development, new fabrication facilities were built, and top engineering talent was recruited from around the world. China's goal was clear, to reduce its dependence on foreign semiconductor imports and eventually become a leading producer of advanced chips. This ambitious plan has shown some early signs of success. Chinese companies like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, the country's largest contract chip maker, have made significant progress in catching up to their foreign counterparts. While still behind industry leaders like Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, SMIC has managed to produce increasingly sophisticated chips, narrowing the technological gap. Perhaps the most striking example of China's technological resilience in the face of U.S. sanctions is the case of Huawei. Once a major customer of U.S. chipmakers, Huawei was effectively blacklisted by the Trump administration, which barred American companies from doing business with the Chinese tech giant. The sanctions were a major blow to Huawei, but the company refused to be crippled. Instead, it doubled down on its own research and development efforts, investing heavily in semiconductor design and manufacturing. The result was the Kirin 9000S, a powerful 7 nanometer processor chip that powered Huawei's Mate 60 Pro smartphone, released in 2023. The Kirin 9000S was a significant achievement for Huawei and a clear signal to the world that China was capable of producing advanced chips despite U.S. sanctions. Huawei's success in developing its own chip technology is a testament to the company's engineering prowess and the Chinese government's determination to achieve technological independence.
Collateral Damage Global Tech Feels the Heat The semiconductor war between the United States and China is not a contained conflict. Its effects are being felt throughout the global technology industry, impacting businesses and consumers alike. One of the most immediate consequences has been a disruption of global supply chains, leading to shortages and price increases for everything from cars and smartphones to gaming consoles and medical devices. U.S. tech giants have also been caught in the crossfire. Companies like Intel, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA, which rely heavily on the Chinese market for revenue, have seen their sales decline as Chinese companies turn to domestic alternatives. The Biden administration's decision to further tighten export controls in 2024, this time targeting tools and technologies used to produce advanced memory chips, has only exacerbated the situation. The impact on U.S. tech companies highlights the difficult balance that the Biden administration must strike between protecting national security and supporting American businesses. The semiconductor war is a stark reminder that in today's interconnected world, economic interests and geopolitical goals are often intertwined. The Yangtze Rises, China's Semiconductor Surge Despite U.S. sanctions, China's semiconductor industry grows rapidly, driven by government support and domestic demand. In 2020, China held 15% of global semiconductor capacity. By 2023, it reached 30%. This growth challenges industry leaders like Taiwan, South Korea, and the United States. China is closing the gap in advanced nodes, reshaping the global semiconductor landscape. The Korean Conundrum, Caught in the Crossfire The US and China are the main players in the semiconductor war, but other countries are feeling the heat. South Korea, home to Samsung and SK Hynix, is in a tough spot, heavily reliant on China, the largest buyer of its memory chips. U.S. sanctions and China's push for self-sufficiency create challenges. South Korea faces pressure from the U.S. and can't afford to lose the Chinese market. This dilemma highlights the tough choices in the semiconductor war. The uncertain horizon questions for the future the semiconductor war between the United States and China is still in its early stages but its long-term consequences are already beginning to take shape. The conflict has exposed the vulnerabilities of global supply chains, highlighted the strategic importance of semiconductor technology, and accelerated a global race for technological supremacy. As the two superpowers continue to pour resources into their respective semiconductor industries, the world watches with a mix of anticipation and apprehension. Will China succeed in its quest for semiconductor self-sufficiency? Will the United States be able to maintain its technological edge? And what will be the impact on the global economy and the future of technological innovation? The answers to these questions remain uncertain. What is clear, however, is that the semiconductor war is about more than just chips. It is a high-stakes battle for economic dominance, technological leadership, and global influence, a battle that will shape the 21st century in profound ways.